Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. A couple of weeks ago, I done a video regarding a couple of spoilers for Avengers Endgame. Well, another Reddit post has come out and this one is completely different to the one that was originally on Reddit and after the one before, it was supposedly coming from a production member of the teams who were actually let go by Marvel. Three production companies were let go due to leaks and all this sort of thing. So, but this one, we don't know actually where this one has come from. But again, I'm just going to read it out. But I will say, obviously, massive, massive spoiler. You know, big spoiler. Your last chance, I'll give you five seconds of silence to stop. But if you want to listen, carry on. So we're going to go five seconds from now. Okay, if you are still here, I'm going to go into it. So, Act 1, I say it is broken down literally just into the acts, and it's just like one sentence or a couple of sentences for each uh, act. So we'll go through them. So, Act 1. Tony Stark and Nebula make it back to Earth. Captain Marvel is there. Entire team heads to Thanos. He's weakened. The team, especially because of Captain Marvel, they kill Thanos. The gauntlet is broken and the stones can cannot undo the snap. So they couldn't protect the universe, so they avenged it. And this is where it gets rather interesting. Thanos meets Lady Death. So obviously in the comics, Lady Death was a big, big part of the actual story arc. And obviously in the film, nothing's come in so far regarding her. But the girl that was actually pictured on... And quite a few websites a couple of months ago where a lot of people were saying that it was Ant-Man's daughter grown up. Supposedly this girl is the one who's actually playing death. So Thanos is pleased with himself. Then it goes straight into Act 2. Act 2 is a few years later, Ant-Man returns and he explains the quantum realm stuff. So obviously with this, there is a few instances that uh, do kind of make this believable. Like obviously, you know, you see outside of his daughter's and ex's uh, home, and obviously it's all boarded up, and he's actually looking at a couple of wanted posters, or missing posters, sorry, not wanted. And obviously he comes back, and then we see him outside the Avengers, and he's like, oh, can you buzz me in, can you buzz me in? And this is when Captain uh, America is actually, he's beardless, he's clean-shaven. And there's quite a few things with him when he's clean-shaven, so obviously it could be a few years later, which I think is brilliant if they are going to go for that. Because obviously in the act, well, act one, I would I would assume Captain America still has a beard. So obviously with all this, with that man returning, and obviously he has the quantum realm suits, Tony builds the quantum suits. The team split off to recharge stones at various points in time. Obviously, we've seen the entire team in all the Quantum Realm suits. So that'll be kind of cool to see if this is the actual truth of what's going to happen. The rest of the Act 2 is interaction between the present, past, and um, the team. So all the teams are meeting each other or whatever. And we have seen, obviously, the photos of Captain America, Ant-Man, and Tony Stark in full-on Iron Man outfit back at New York City for the attack from Thanos and Avengers 1. So obviously they're powering the stones with each and every visit they do. Um, and then the, obviously you see Thanos is actually watching everything that's going on. Because he's actually with Death. And he's concerned that everyone will undo his plan. And he begs Death to let him preserve his work. So obviously I would assume that uh, he asks for Death's permission to go back to life and to kill him. Then, obviously, you got Thanos and the Outriders attack Avengers HQ to prevent the new gauntlet from being used. Right, we have seen quite a few uh, Lego playsets regarding that uh, Thanos and his cronies, they do attack Avengers HQ. And, obviously, there's quite a few there. Obviously, you got the um, Professor Hulk and Thanos and a twin-pack Funko Pop. So, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, Captain America, Tony Stark and Hulk... They quantum away to Wakanda, battle using the new gauntlet, only to miss and end up on Xander after Thanos has been has already been there. So obviously, 
Thanos destroyed Xander way before Avengers Infinity War started. Obviously, because it starts from saying, oh, I took the stone from him. So we could actually see that going on. The gauntlet isn't strong enough to beat Thanos. Uh, so there's a massive fight between Tony Stark, Hulk, Captain America against Thanos. Cap is able to use the gauntlet one last time. Uh, and so there is a massive fight between Captain America and Thanos, which I cannot wait for. You know, it's with Captain America, obviously, it does seem to be that the E will die, obviously, because he's actually up now and he's finished with his contract. And Chris Evans has actually said this is his last movie. So, obviously, uh, Captain America is able to use the gauntlet one time. And he says, Avengers assemble, supposedly. And he brings everyone to face him. So, obviously, that's you know, when a couple of months ago, I think it was about two years ago, actually, when they all said it was going to be like 70 superheroes on screen against Thanos. And if that's if that is this scene, I cannot wait. I am going to be fucking geeking out so much. I'll probably be shaking in my seat and I'll be screaming like a little girl at Christmas who's just got a dream Barbie house. I cannot wait if that is the scene. In real time, so back in the normal scene, in the normal uh, future where Infinity War happened, Thanos is a Wakanda. He sees the stones weakening in his gauntlet because obviously they have uh, destroying him on Xandar before he could even take out Thor and his uh, people. And he realises he's defeated in this timeline. Thanos is killed at uh, Wakanda. Captain America sacrifices himself. And now the snap never happened. So the events of Infinity War never happened. And it goes on then. So now obviously Doctor Strange. He does uh, say that the loop is now closed for the 14th millionth time. And we won. So obviously it's a massive, massive uh, spoiler. And it's a most a massive rumour. If this is uh, real, after just take it for a grain of salt at the moment. Nothing is verified, and it can be just fan fiction. The commentator, uh, the guy who actually done this, he actually began the post joking about the source. Although he has mocked many early commenters who posted fake leaks. So this guy has mentioned Cap's death in a way that has actually been mentioned before in past theories. So we can only wait and see what's going to happen. And to be honest with you, even if this is all true, to me, this just sounds fucking awesome. I love it. I think it's amazing. So, I cannot wait. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And we'll see you soon.